Hi kids! Do you see my picture here of a burning bush? I wanted to show it to you because, well, I think it's a pretty picture and it's so colorful. And Also, I wanted to talk to you about your Bible lesson this week. In our Bible story, Moses is going to encounter an actual burning bush and it's going to speak to him. It's not really the bush that's speaking to him, it's God. Could you imagine such a thing happening to you or me? Seeing a bush that's on fire and hear it speaking? Or to hear God's actual voice? Most of us have not encountered God in this way. Our Bible verse this week, Exodus 3.12, says, And God said, I will be with you. Well, that's still very true today. God is with us all the time, and he has a wonderful plan for our life just like he did for Moses. Now I want you to do something with me. I want you to fling your hand back and forth really fast and really hard. Go ahead. Do you feel the air swishing past it? I do. That's a good test we can do to make sure the air is real because we can't see it, but we can feel it. Now take a deep breath. Puff out your belly like a big balloon. <sighs> did you feel the air going in? I did. We can't see it, but the air is very real. It is all around us and it sustains us because we need it to live, to breathe. I think God is like that too. Look at this skinny little balloon. Nothing exciting. What would happen if I put some air in it? There, the air made it bigger and firm. Because air is matter. It takes up space, just like water or your shoes. Now what would happen if I let this balloon go without trapping the air inside? You wanna find out? It shot all the way across our Sunday school classroom. What made that happen? The air, right. The air was in a hurry to get out of the balloon, so it created air pressure that sent it flying. Because air is real, it has matter, it takes up space, and it affects the things around it. And God is definitely like that. We don't see him walking beside us or sitting at the dinner table with us, but we know that he's real. And we know that he has an effect on the things near him also. We wanna to talk to God every day. We wanna read our Bibles and learn more about him, and that draws us near to God and then he can have a big effect on our lives. I'll see you next time.